So you've purchased your brand new Reebok GT40S treadmill and now you're ready to assemble it, ready for use. This video will take you through just seven simple steps from box to setup. Please refer to the assembly manual for further guidance. Before unboxing, make sure you've placed the treadmill in the room where you'll be using it and that there's sufficient space to assemble and unfold. Once you're happy with where it'll be situated, remove all parts, the console set, foot covers, and the hardware packs. Then break down the sides of the cardboard box. Lastly, carefully lift the GT40S treadmill base from one end, tilt it towards you, and wheel it outside the box. As you slide the supporting arm into place at this point, insert bolt number 17 from your hardware pack into each of the holes and tighten with the Allen key provided. Take care with the cable. Repeat this on the left-hand side of the treadmill. Though you can assemble the GT40S yourself, you may need to call in a friend or family member for this step. Take the console set and carefully place it on top of the supporting upright posts. With the console set resting on the posts, carefully connect the cables between the right upright post and the treadmill handlebar. Here's where you might need someone to hold the handlebars while you connect the cables. Use bolt number 16 and the Allen key provided to secure the console set into place on both supporting upright posts. Again, be careful not to pinch the wiring. Take the two foot covers, part number 68 in your hardware pack, and slide it into place on both corners of the treadmill base frame. The covers are labeled L and R, so you know which one to put on each side of the GT40S. Secure these into place with bolt number 24. There are two bolts for each foot cover. Now it's time to unscrew and remove the red locking pin. This is found on the left underside of the treadmill base next to the transport wheel. At this point, you can also cut the deck safety strap. When you're confident you followed all these steps, plug the power lead into the adapter socket at the back of the treadmill motor and into your wall socket. You'll find the on-off switch at the back of the motor too. Before you start working out, attach the safety clip to the treadmill and to your clothing. Finally, when your workout's complete, easily fold the GT40S by lifting the back of the deck into a vertical position. Then, when you're ready to work out again, simply apply pressure to the soft drop mechanism underneath the running belt to safely lower the deck to the floor.